what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Average Guys Gourmet. Once again and like usual I'm Tony Rican and today I'm gonna cook something Puerto Rican for you. We're gonna do picadillo de carne which is uh, it's a meat that's gonna be used in a lot of Puerto Rican dishes so let's go ahead jump right in and get this one started. de carne. Really, it's not that difficult of a recipe to make, and it is the base for so many great Puerto Rican recipes. So here we go. We're at the stove. I'm going to take my oil here, put it in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on a medium to high flame here. Get that going. Now I'm taking the sofrito. There is a link in the description to how to make sofrito. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you hanging. And I'm going to take our diced olives and put them in there. I'm going to mix this all in together. And what we want to do is we want to get this going and get most of the moisture out of this. Once we have everything sizzling nicely, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my uh, beef and throw it in there. You want to break this up and get everything nice and browned. Once my meat is nice and brown, I've got it dried down just a little bit. There's still a little bit of moisture in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my tomato paste and scoop that in. And then we're going to mix that tomato paste in. And then our picadillo de carne is going to be done. So that's it. Your picadillo de carne is done. Now, if you're not a beef person and you want to do this with pork and make picadillo de puerco, it is simple. You just replace your ground beef with ground pork. One pound of ground beef, use one pound of ground pork. It is that easy. Now this picadillo, whether you do beef or pork, is the base for a ton of great recipes. We'll catch you guys next time, and I hope you enjoy.